Thank you, ma'am. Now I cordially invite our beloved principal, Mrs. Rekha Rao, ma'am, to come on to the desk. I request Nagavina, ma'am, to escort, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. A warm welcome to all the dignitaries present on the days. And for us, ladies and gentlemen, it is certainly a distinct honor and privilege to be a part of this grand event. We now take the privilege to present saplings to our honorable dignitaries. Gifting saplings symbolizes respect, adoration, abundance, prosperity, love, and affection. We now call upon our school head boy, Sheila Aryan, to present this happening to our esteemed chief guest, Srimati Madhusmita Ma'am. Thank you, Aryan. We now call upon our school head girl, Ruti Chaudhary, to present this happening to Dr. Srimati GLK Durga Ma'am as a symbol of our love and respect. Thank you, Ruti. We now request our deputy head girl, Divisha Lohia, to present his sapling to Sri E. Narasimha Rao sir as a gesture of gratitude and appreciation. Thank you, Divisha. We now request our deputy head boy, Tanish Ambati, to present this sapling to S.V. Rao sir as a token of her respect and admiration. Thank you, Tanish. Now, we request Cultural Secretary Lakshana Chalam to present the sapling to our principal, Mrs. Rekha Rao Ma'am, as a gesture of gratitude for constant support and encouragement. Thank you, Lakshana. Jay, the sapling presented here represents health, wealth, and good luck. It is also an air purifier and creates a healthier living environment. Respected dignitaries, we are very glad to have your presence here. Let's make this moment a memorable one with a vibrant applause. Without any further ado, let's start this beautiful evening with a traditional and auspicious lamp lighting ceremony. Light and brightness has always been equated with positivity and motivation is seen as a harbinger of good. Whether it is firing a missile or launching a satellite, nothing great and auspicious happens without seeking the divine blessings of the Almighty. Over to lighting of the lamp, may we request the dignitaries to kindly arise to do the honors. Ladies and gentlemen.
Our annual day celebration is a celebration not of just a day. It is a celebration of the journey, celebrating on the year of achievements and success. Greetings and very warm welcome to our Honorable Chief Guest, Srimati M. Madhusmita Madam IRS, Principal Chief Commissioner, APN Telangana, Guest of Honor, Vice President, Durga Bhai Deshmukh Mahila Sabha, Dr. Srimati GLK Durga Ma'am, Chairman DDMSP Oval Ready Education Academy, Shri S. V. Rao Sir, Secretary Oval Ready Education Academy, Shri E. Narasimha Rao Sir, IRS retired, distinguished parents, teachers, students, media, and one and all present over here. On behalf of Durga Bhai Deshmok Mahila Sabha AMSP Oval Ready Public School, I warmly welcome you all to our annual day celebration 2023. Today, all together, 1,366 students of pre-primary and primary section will unfold their talent in performing arts before you all. Also, I take the opportunity to congratulate our stakeholders for completing 34 glorious years of this institution. Yes, 34 years, a milestone. Thank you so much, parents. Today we stand proud and tall, being one of the very few institutions with a philanthropic trust of Durga Bhai Deshmukh Statue, displayed with strong, committed visionaries whose dreams have actually transformed the status of the school from a mere philanthropic school with a limited means to a gigantic institution with our outstanding results calibrated on the map of Hyderabad with its ethos and values deeply rooted in the trust's philosophy. A lot of water has flown since the time of its inception of the school with just 32 students and till today it's 3,113. Thank you. But this water has added many milestones in the journey. Thank you all stakeholders for standing together in this journey of our transformation. But any outstanding success cannot be without an effort or vision. It is with pride that I like to state that behind this transformation is a dynamic visionary who subtly but firmly scaffolded this edifice of knowledge with his vision and missionary zeal to bring to its present glory. A very big thank you to that visionary, yes, to our Honorable Chairman Sir, Esmeral Sir. Thank you. The Vice President of Durga Bhai Desh Mahila Sabha, Dr. Srimati, GLK Durga Ma'am, the epitome of commitment of what our DDMS Trust envisages. We owe our gratitude to Sri Ina Simarao Sir, Secretary of School, in helping and supporting in this gigantic leap of success. Sir was always there, guiding us at every step with his wisdom. Annual day is a day of showcasing the achievements of the school of self-introspection, of looking forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we go down the evening by having a deco at the results, CBSC board results of grade 10 and 12. We begin with grade 10 results. Altogether, 201 students wrote the exams and we got that spectacular 100% results. And the And the school talkers were Vangla Ritika Reddy. Second position was Dipshikas, and the third position it was for Sharanya. <laughs> then again we have Lakshita who made news with 104 temperature. From the hospital she went and wrote her exam and she got that spectacular 97%. 
we got across all the newspapers for our wonderful results. Ladies and gentlemen, now we go to grade 12. Here also 100% results. 320 students. Thank you. 320 students, they wrote the exams. And the topper in science stream was Joshita Joseph, Sujana Sanidhi, and Nakshatra Jaiswal. Throughout the year, we had a number of events. We are just presenting few. 114 birth anniversary of late Padma Vibhushan, Dr. Srimati Durga Bhais was celebrated. We hosted CBSE's Prospective Resource Person PRP orientation program, where 55 principals of Hyderabad, only of CBSE schools, participated and Ms. Arunima Mazumdar joined Secretary CBSC Academics. Delhi, she graced the exams. And from the 55 principals, four principals were selected to train other CBSC principals. And by God's grace and encouragement of our management, I was one of them to be selected. Thank you. 25th Investiture Ceremony. The student leaders were elected in a democratic way, in a secret ballot. Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, to make this grand affair more grander, we created a 75 meter flag, a symbolic flag, where the entire school, right from management, students, teachers, and support staff, they embedded their palm impression. students closer to the current events and happenings. We had few academic simulations. We had academic simulation of G20. We also had another simulation. It was Model United Nations and it was a three-day event. Classroom to boardroom, that was the tagline what we chose. We had Six Sigma Androphers. 74th Constitution Day or Samidhan Divas to commemorate the Constitution. We made a huge replica of the Constitution. It was nearly five feet. Thank you. The winners were all over the campus. When we concentrate on the primary and pre-primary, we had our students participating in inter-school competitions. They participated in dance. Porani costumes and Chinmaya Mission Gita chanting. We also had Grandparents Day for our grandparents and then Graduation Day for the Tiny Talks of UKG. And then we had Orientation Program for the Grade 1. There were a few historic interactions, what we organized for our students, which will remain in their heart and soul throughout their life. It is all about Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 3, Gaganyaan, and Aditya L1. Our students interacted with the founder of Nagasai Precision Engineering Private Limited, which contributed an aluminum alloy case for protecting lithium ion, ion batteries used for lander, orbiter, propulsion modules for all ISRO space missions and Chandrayaan 3. It was a very close interaction. So we could not bring Chandrayaan and all to the campus, but we made sure they had that first-hand experience. Mission Dhatu Nigam Limited, Midhani, supplies special metals and alloys for Chandrayaan and Gaganyaan. We had Dr. Sanjay Kumar Jha, Chairman and Managing Director Midhani, who interacted with our students. Our students visited Manjira Machine Builders, which manufactured the most critical pieces of Gaganyaan mission, the Kree module that will ferry astronauts into the space. That was a, a real historic moment for our students. They visited one of the most reputed and powerful counter-terrorism law enforcement agencies across the world. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about National Investigation Agency, NIA. Probably we are the first school 
to visit that in their history as well. We also had National Intellectual Property Awareness Mission, which comes under Ministry of Commerce and Industries, Government of India. Mobile Science Exhibition was in our campus by CCMB, that is Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology. Hands-on Experience, Food Design and Development Institute under Ministry of Commerce and Industry Government of India. Here our children, they got hands-on experience. An expert on cyber safety from Telangana Police interacted with our students. We also had a session with Mr. Thomas, a renowned architect from Germany. Around 500 students, they got trained in CPR, a life-saving technique, the need of the hour. <laughs> Celebrating the International Year of Millets, we invited senior scientists from ICRISAT International Crop Research Institute for the semi-arid tropics. It was a historic moment when our student, Rajeshree, she participated in NCC Republic Day in Delhi. And again, our student, Avnish Kabra, he met Prime Minister Modi in Delhi. Yes, a rare opportunity indeed. 60 international universities were in our campus and holiday learning laws was one concept which was appreciated by many schools and that was first time probably in Telangana what we introduced. <laughs> Class year 12, they had graduation day as they set into the professional world. Our students interacted with Honorable Governor of Telangana, Dr. Srimati Tamil Sai Sondaraji, Madam, on the eve of International Reading Day. You can see the students interacting, lighting the lamp along with the Honorable Governor. It is a memory which they would be carrying forward. More than 800 girl students participated in Telangana government-led exclusive women's incubator, we have. That was again first time. And again, three of our students were selected for an idea that is IV fluid indicators, which was appreciated nationwide. They were invited by IIT Chennai and IIT Delhi as well. We go beyond the four walls of the classroom. We go to the nature. Ladies and gentlemen, our students, they attended adventure camp at Gandhikota. They did rock climbing, grappling, jumaring, and a lot more. World Music Day. It was again a big privilege where our students, they got the opportunity to use decades old and ancient musical instruments. Of course, they were trained by them and they gave a wonderful performance. International Child Rights Day was also one thing which we celebrated recently. Over to the achievements. Telangana State Energy Conservation under Educational Institution category, our school won Silver Award and Gold Award for two years continuously. And we were featured in that magazine. As you can see on the screen, unfortunately the screen is not working. It was an initiation by our Honorable Chairman, sir, you can see the page as well. In regional SIP Abacus competition, Tavish Bhatt wins second position. Again in Abacus, Sayukta in Colombo, Sri Lanka, she got second prize. We all participated in Sports for All, where you can see that tiny tots as the upcoming archer and rapper shooting. And one of our students, she got the honor of singing national anthem in Pro Kabaddi, the only student from all the schools who got the privilege. A big moment, not only for the school, 
but for the nation as well. Our two students, they participated in Asian Games China. Vridhi Agarwal, she represented India in swimming and in artistic roller skating. Veda, she got one silver and one bronze for the country. Winners and participants, you can see the slide. We have the winners and the participants. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The room was not built in a day and we have miles to go. Thank you, Jehan. We brought the field of Chandrayaan and Gaganyaan and other space missions into our campus. I think we are the only school to invite these huge companies who contributed to the Chandrayaan 2, 3 and Aditya 1 by supplying components of strategical importance. Thank you, ma'am, once again. We feel honored and privileged to have with us today Sri E. Narasimha Sir, IRS retired Honorary Secretary Sir, Durga Bai Deshmukh Mahila Sabha, the Overlady Educational Academy, who hardly needs any introduction. Sir, you have made us proud by your venerable hard work and achievements. We would like to request you, Hello. sir, to please share your precious words the and message. <laughs> Chief Guest of the Day, Srimad Madhubita Spita, IRS Principal Chief Commissioner, APN Telangana. Guest of Honor, Dr. Srimad G.L.K. Durga, Vice President Durga Vaidesh Mahila. Today, they are ready to show us their hard work, dedication, and the skills they own over the past months. Our school believes in more than just studying. School is not just about books and exams. It is about making your child a great all round person. That's what we are working on every day with the help of our amazing teachers. Parents, you are a big part of this too. Take time to know what your kids enjoy and we are their good at. Let's achieve for our kids not just for the grades, but for the things they love to do, like playing, music, sports and art. Getting into extra curricular activities isn't just for fun. It helps your children get better at things and makes your bond stronger. These are the things your child will remember and cherish. Thank you for being a part of this wonderful celebration. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for your enlightening address. The tall pillar, the visionary, and our best supporter for all the challenging ventures taken by our school is our Honorable Chairman Sri S. V. Rao, sir. We cordially invite you, sir, to address the August audience. Good evening to all of you, the respected Chief Guest, Mrs. Madhu Smita, Principal Chief Commissioner of Income Tax, Andhra Pradesh in Telangana. Our guest of honor, Dr. G.L.K. Durga. Our Vice President, Durga Vaideshmukh uh, Mahila Sabha. And our Secretary, Mr. E. Narasimha Rao. Principal Rekha Rao. Vice Principal's Headmistress. Dear parents, students, and media here. It's a wonderful day. It is with pleasure, I am with you here. So let, before, at the outset, let me speak out a few words about our institution. Our institution is one of the arms of Durga Bhai Deshmukh Mahila Sabha, a noted charitable trust in the country. It was established in 1937 by Padma Bhushan, Dr. Durga Bhai Deshmukh. She was a contemporary of Jawaharlal Nehru and Mahatma Gandhi and also a freedom fighter. This is one of the units she established nearly 30 and odd units in Chennai and Hyderabad. This is one of the premier institute 
established by our trust because when it started in 1989, she was no more. So this school, though started in 89, 34 years back I was told, it has grown up leaps and bounds. Today it is one of the premier institutions in the city of Hyderabad. See, with regard to facilities and all that, we can compete with all corporate schools because we are stationed in the prestigious Jubilee Hills in a five and a half acres campus. But at the same time, our fee structure is very, very affordable and we extend value education. Apart, apart from our low fee structure, we extend based on merit some concessional fee, sometimes 100% concession with 100% concession to economically uh, weak children with a 100% support, but linked to merit. It's basically they have to score more than 60%, 70% like that. We also created a fund to extend help even after their completion in our school, uh, school education, after completing their school education. That way, no school can be compared with these facilities, with, with very meager fee structure, we are able to render support to the society, to all sections of the society. When it, come, when it comes to our teaching staff, they are very committed Whatever success we have achieved, please extend a grand uh, this thing applaud to all these <laughs> teaching staff. Without them, the school will be nowhere. So, with these few words, after, after having said about this uh, school, my appeal to all parents is: see, we extend. Not only we focus not only on education, we focus on co-curricular activities so that, see, as in the principal's report, she has read out many achievements by children. All that credit goes to the parents because in most of the cases, the support is not only from the school, it's from the parents. It has created, a, I mean, it has achieved a medal from in Asian Games it's, it's a, a rare occasion, a school from Hyderabad getting a medal from the, not school, the student of the school getting a medal from the, this thing. For all that, I, I really appreciate the parents' contribution in the success of the school. So parents are very eager to watch their tiny tots to exhibit their skills. So with these few words, wishing you all the best, I take leave of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your inspiring address and valuable message. Your thoughts always inspire us. Durgabai Deshmukh Mahila Sabha, P. Obelda Republic School, is an institution working under the aegis of Andhra Mahila Sabha, steering us on the path of progress. Honorable Vice President, Dr. Srimati G. L. K. Durga, ma'am, at the helm of affairs at Andhra Mahila Sabha, the school is going to scale its further heights. Ma'am has an experience of 35 years in teaching and she has worked under various administrative positions, personality development and banking and finance services. It would be a privilege to hear the pearls of wisdom from Ma'am. Can we have the honor, Ma'am? Good evening, everybody. Madam Chief Guest, Chairperson, Sir, and Secretary Garu, and your Principal, Parents and Students, and my dear teaching staff. Neeta Badda Chinuku Neeta Karase, Chitpa Badda Chinuku Mutyamaye, Prapta Munna Chota Palamela Tapura Viswadavi Rama Vidaravema. All children are destined to become something great and contribute to the society 
That's why they are in Andhra Mahila Sabha Oberle Disco. Matru Devo Bhava, Pitru Devo Bhava, Acharya Devo Bhava, Atidhi Devo Bhava. Same legacy we are continuing by creating, imbibing values to the students. Once one child, a boy asked father to take to one park. The father was busy with the office work. He said, uh, just you play for some time, I am going to take. Again and again when the son is asking, he saw one big advertisement of world map. He told that and he gave it to the son and said, you join the world map, I am going to take you to the park. Within 10 minutes, with a surprise, the boy could join the world map and come back to the father and said, Dad, I have joined the world map. Father was really surprised how a 10 years boy could join the world map. Then his father asked how you could do that. The boy said, I don't know where is USA, Canada or China, but when you are telling, I saw a man's face on that. And I could join eyes, nose, lips, everything. When I got man right, I got the world right. So that is the contribution of our DDMS Overlady School, making man right, giving the right education, right values, and right type of curriculum to the students. So as the parents, just you're going to give them the quality time and see that the child is going to be taking part in uh, as a hobby or cultural programs, etc. Just the child has to think, like our Abdul Kalam says, I am the best. I can do it. Today is a good day. God is with me. When you are going to give that confidence to the child, he is going to do wonders. Only two things from the parents and teachers is thinking habit and questioning habit. These two are going to make a boy or a girl great. Like, so a thought, it is going to reap a action. So a action, it is going to reap a habit. So a habit, it is going to reap the character. So a character, it is going to reap the destiny. That will be wonderful. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Your story has really given us a very wonderful message. Your leadership and vision are incredibly appreciated. You are an inspiration for us. May I now invite Mrs. Vijay Durga Ma'am, Headmistress Pre-Primary, to introduce today's esteemed Chief Guest, Srimati M. Madhusmita Ma'am, IRS Principal Chief Commissioner of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Ma'am, please. Thank you, Arno. Good evening, honorable dignitaries and august gathering. Now I present the profile of Srimati Madhusmita Ma'am, IRS, Principal Chief Commissioner of AP and Telangana, our Chief Guest for the evening. Srimati M. Madhusmita Ma'am is an IRS officer of 1988 batch of Indian Revenue Service. She belongs to the state of Odisha and pursued her school, college, university education in the city of Bhubaneswar. Born on 4 June 1965 to Dr. Sita Kant Mahapatra and Srimati Basanti Mahapatra, ma'am emulated her father's example to join the civil services. After completing her probation as an IRS officer, in July 1989, she joined in, at Delhi in a corporate charge. In the year 1991, Ma'am married her IRS batchmate Sri V. Anandarajan and moved to Bangalore. In the past 35 years, Ma'am served in Delhi, Bangalore, Bhubaneswar, Qatar, Pune and Lucknow in different assignments. To name a few as Deputy Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, Chief Commissioner of Income Tax TDS, and also as a Director General, Central Economic Intelligence Bureau, under the Department of Revenue, Ministry of Finance. Presently, she is serving as Head of Income Tax Department in the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Each one of these assignments have been challenging, and she has 
try to make a difference within the constraints of the rules and regulations of bureaucracy. Man believes that every taxpayer deserves opportunity of being heard, courtesy and professional service. At the same time, the taxpayers need to follow the principles of voluntary compliance and a strong sense of nation building. At various points in her career, she has been felicitated for her outstanding efforts towards the revenue collection, including the ca case of enhancement of income of a public sector bank, widening of tax base, promoting voluntary compliance and grievance redress. Today, Ma'am is here with us to share her thoughts on public service. Ma'am, can we have the honor, please? <laughs> Respected Chairman, Mr. S. V. Rao, uh, Principal, Rekha Rao, Madam, uh, Dr. Dutta, uh, Vice, Vice Chairman of uh, Durga Bai Deshmukh uh, uh, Mila Sabha, uh, Mr. Narsim Rao, Secretary, uh, esteemed teachers and dear students and parents of Obal Reddy Public School. Uh, at the outset, I must apologize for the small delay because I was held up a lot of traffic and other uh, things. A very, very pleasant afternoon to all of you. Uh, it is an absolute delight and honor to be here today uh, amongst bright, enthusiastic, and promising young minds. As I stand before you all, I am filled with immense joy and admiration. I can feel the energy and the vibrations radiating from each corner of this hall. Dear students, you are the architects of our tomorrow, the dreamers who will shape the world's future. Your potential, creativity and curiosity are the guiding beacons that will lead us into a brighter and more innovative tomorrow. I encourage each one of you to embrace knowledge with open arms and passionate hearts. Let your imagination soar, for it knows no bounds. Let the journey of learning be as magnificent as the destination it leads to. Every step you take in this journey will empower you, enlighten you, and mold you into extraordinary individuals. As you navigate through the realms of education, always remember the values of kindness, empathy, perseverance, not just at home, school, but also within your community. These virtues will enrich your lives and will make you very passion compassionate global citizens contributing positively to the society. Dear children, your aspirations are the guiding stars illuminating the sky of endless possibilities. Embrace challenges, for they are stepping stones to success. Take time to talk to your loved ones, your friends, and anyone who needs to be spoken to. Never be afraid to ask questions, for it is through questioning that we unravel the mysteries of the universe. I urge you to cherish this invaluable phase of life filled with laughter, friendships, and knowledge. Make the most of every moment, for these moments will be the treasured memories of your future. Today, as a parent of three beautiful children myself, I also want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the faculty to the parents, to the trustees, and every individual who is involved in nurturing these brilliant minds. Your dedication and support are instrumental in sculpting a future generation of nation builders. Let us appreciate that our teachers who are present here today are homemakers, artists, achievers, dreamers, and much more who cast aside all these roles to come and be part of the school. No words are sufficient to express our gratitude. Our parents are our most important stakeholders in the academic ecosystem. 
a parent is the one we most want to reach out to while growing up. They are our comfort zone, our heroes, our staunch supporters and our favorite punching bags. To my dear parents assembled here today, I say, please make time to listen to your kids. More than the creature comforts, what they really crave is your time and attention. And I'm really happy to see that, uh, you know, as uh, Chairman mentioned, that the parents take a great deal of interest in your school, in nurturing and uh, encouraging children to uh, go and also to participate in extracurricular activities. And I'm really, really glad that the school also encourages you know, them to interact with many, many vast cross-sections of the society, whether it be scientists or philosophers or you know, judges, etc. So uh, I must uh, assure the parents that their children are in very good hands here. I can see it. Some of the officers of my department, their children also study here. And I heard of the, uh, your school for the first time from them itself. In conclusion, I have to bring to your attention the fact that all of us assembled here today have a huge role to play, not only towards our own lives and families, but also in our obligations to society as a whole. What we give today comes back to us many times over. To quote the 19th century philosopher Khalil Gibran, you give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. Gibran goes on to say, all you have, all you have shall someday be given. Therefore, give now that the season of giving may be yours and not your inheritors. You often say, I would give, but only to the deserving. The trees in your orchard do not say so, not the flocks in your pasture. So that is why I would like to impress upon everyone present here. I know that you are already doing a great job, but it is when we are truly altruistic that the nation also you know, uh, grows in stature. Thank you for inviting me to share in this wonderful celebration. I wish, I wish each one of you a lot of success, joy, and a future that shines very brightly. Jai Hind. Thank you, ma'am, for those thought-provoking and profound words. And yes, as our guest told about questioning and again answering and again questioning, it's a continuous process. So please do encourage, ma'am, we definitely take the points whatever you have given. May we now request honorable guests to join the audience. Thank you all.